So in reflecting on, on last week's draw against Forest Green before we get into to Portsmouth, um, match number 300 for yourself, um, I mean, you're clearly not fed up of us yet. No, um, I think I've, I've been liked enough at this football club to be, to be, to be uh, well, to hold on to me. Well, I tried to leave, but I couldn't. Um, but um, yeah, listen, 300 games is, is obviously a fantastic personal achievement. Um, there's been a lot of bad games, a lot of good games, a lot of bad occasions, a lot of good occasions in there. So it's it's a nice little milestone for me, and um, looking to look one that I'm looking to improve on as well in the next couple of years if if I'm still here. So yeah, 300 games for Exeter is is fantastic for myself, and yeah, I'm really proud of it. Didn't start the game too well, but it it ended all right. Probably should have won. But I mean, what's been the, the response from the group this week following? I'd probably say sixty minutes of, of being below standard. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think I think the weekend we having no game kind of uh, kind of affected us a little bit. Took took us out of our stride, um, out of our momentum with with, with um, good results previous to that. So um, we've had a good we had a good week's training. Um, training's been bright. Training's been been good and tough and. And listen, we're, we're, I think we're everybody's eager to get back to it. Um, we were all disappointed of, of how we started the game. Um, I think you could tell that we hadn't played for a couple of weeks, so um, finished the game really strongly. We, we we probably should be winning that game. Um, they had one shot on target, and they scored one goal. And um, we've had a, a couple of really really good chances to win the game late door. So yeah, disappointed uh, not to win, but it's another game unbeaten. Four four games unbeaten and. We go to Portsmouth on Saturday looking to do the same. About uh, four games, I mean, that started with the draw against Portsmouth on Boxing Day. I mean, there wasn't much between us that day, uh, but, but since then, Portsmouth, they've had a, had a change of manager, haven't currently got one. Um, it, it, it gave us an idea of what we can expect, but obviously they're going to be at home with, with that cracking atmosphere that they're, they're known for. Yeah, I think, I think they'll have they'll probably have a bit of a spring in their step. Um, having no manager, you kind of... Sometimes it makes you play a little bit freer, um, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but listen, there'll be, there'll be a lot of pressure on them to get a result. Um, with their with their home crowd, um, the size of the club, uh, the pressure on them, the expectations on them. So um, we've got to go there with no pressure, no expectations on, our, on ourselves and, and play, to, play to our game plan and play free and confident and, uh, and look to win the game. Our last visit there was, it was in the... Uh Papa John's Trophy a few, couple of years ago, but last league game there, 2017. I think you're the only member of the squad left that, that was in the squad that day. Yeah, I think I was on the bench. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've actually ever played at, at Fratton Park. I was on the bench that league game. Um, I don't know what score it was. One all was it? Do you know? One, should we, should we one, be one now? Wheeler. Oh, Wheeler, yeah, do we yeah. want yeah. Um, then the Papa John's, I, I, I had to travel, but I wasn't in the squad, um, which is a little bit gutting. But yeah, listen, I'm looking forward to it. Um, hopefully, there'll be, there'll be a, a sold out home home crowd as, as the away fans are as well. So um, it'll be a really, really good, good atmosphere, and, and hopefully, it'll be a really good game of football as well. You mentioned the crowd there, 1,600 <coughs> away fans, and, and you're probably best placed in the squad to compare the crowds we see at home as well at the moment compared to a few years ago. It, it's just. The incredible the, the numbers we're getting, for example, yeah. a sellout against teams such as Forest Green is probably wouldn't have seen in the past. No, definitely not. Um, the first couple of seasons I was here, I don't know what we averaged at home. It might have been four or five thousand at max. Um, and obviously, it comes with us doing really well, um, playing some really good football, um, with with some some young exciting players. Some some young exciting talent kind of helps encourage more fans to come to the stadium. So and. The numbers are, are, are proven. Um, I think I seen something on Twitter that we, the game between us and Forest Green last year was nearly two and a half thousand more than uh, this year. So yeah, we're, we're the crowds and the fans are doing really well, um, home and away. I think to take sixteen, seventeen hundred to, to Portsmouth is, is fantastic. Um, I don't know how many we took to to Derby. I think it was like over a thousand as well. So that that's that's really phenomenal and and, and fair, fair play to the fans for doing that and. I know some of the trips are really long and they get back really late, so we do really appreciate that and we do we do speak about it among, amongst ourselves, yeah. Uh, and finally, obviously we've got the game Saturday. It's a three-game week. Obviously, Barnsley on, on Tuesday as well. It's all in, When you've got so many games in close succession, it's important that you go into the next one with a bit, bit of momentum. Yeah, I, I really like um, three-game weeks. Um, I don't like them every week, but I like them now and again. Um, it's one where if you have a bad result, you've you've got a game in a, in a couple of days to kind of um, bounce back and, and for, put 
but forget about the bad result and put it to bed and and likewise if if you if you get three three wins in in a week it's really really good momentum so it's a busy period coming up um we've got a, a small a smallish squad so i think i think the manager will be looking to use uh, most of the squad in the three games and and the players who who go out in the pitches i've got to keep their shirt and and that's that's something we we've done fairly well this season the the, the, the squad has, has contributed a lot to, to to pretty much all the games so far this season and, and Saturday will be no different. Cheers, Swings. Thanks, mate.